Hello everybody, I am Tom and you were watching me play Divinity Original Sin 2. We're now down a member, because we inadvertently betrayed our comrade who we were following around. Uh, who was following us around rather. Um, I say that, we, I mean, we did betray him. We attacked the Magisters. I then also attacked the Black Ring. So, you know, that's a thing. Um, but, where we are now, by the way, is back at the start, pretty much. This is where we entered. This is our ship. Um, I want to come down the bottom way first. Um, as I've said a couple of times, this is where Alexander is. As you can see by this marker. Uh, I want to do this last. Well, last is the temple, obviously. But I want to do this as close to last as possible. So I want to head down the bottom way first. Um, so, we're going past this lava here. Um, I do have a spell that I can make use of the lava with, but I th honestly, I'm not that worried about it. Holy crap, I need to sort my inventory. Um, how's my weight? Eh, I'll sort it later. I'm sure it'll be- I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, some purged corpses along the way, which is always... Always what you want to hear in the morning, is purged corpses. Um, while I'm here... Cool. As you can see there, it allows you to jump into the lava. Um, I would not suggest it. You will die immediately. Unless you have over 100% fire resistance. Um, you can see here the, where the lava is meeting the... Uh, lava is meeting the water over here. There we go. Really, you can't see over there, eh? I'm pretty sure you can. If I get in a good enough position. Yep, totally can. Uh, you actually do need some source loss, so go pick that up. Part of the Divine Order's fleet, by the look of it. Hellfire must have rained down. Hmm. It's surprising any of them made it to shore, looking at that. It is interesting. Wonder who done by potentially the Black Ring. I got myself a waypoint. Most fancy waypoints in the game by far. And we can climb up this vine. Even more vines. This goes up quite quite a ways. As you can see, we're now in the clouds. What holds this aloft? Yep, pretty much. A temple in the clouds. What holds this aloft is a fairly good question. Before you stands a shrine to Amadia, her solemn face carved of ancient stone. This statue of Amadia seems ancient. Moss blooms from cracks all over the stone, and tears of rain stream from her eyes. A hollow space marks the center of her creased brow. Uh, place your hand on the stone and ask for Amadia's blessing. You feel a presence awaken within the stone. An ancient awareness reaches out to you, swirling through every cell of your body and every mote of your soul. Lightning flashes and thunder rumbles. Static electricity crackles all around you and dances over your body. Yet you feel no jolt or shock, and it fizzles out as soon as it touches your skin. Then the awareness recedes from you, ebbing back like a tide until you are left completely alone. Alone with your thoughts, alone with the blessing Amadia left you with. So, that gave us air immunity. Um, can Losa do the same thing? Because having both, you feel a presence awaken within the lightning. Then the air immunity is good because there's lightning everywhere in this place. So I'll take all the air immunity you can give me. So there is a way down here, but I don't know. 
At least I don't think I can jump up here. No, that's like the way back afterwards, I guess. Amadeus Fire Wand is blasting fire everywhere. Um. Hmm. Actually, probably want Losa to do most of the parkour. The reason being. Well, the Black Ring didn't make it over here very easily. Uh, the reason being is that Sir Laura is with um, the Red Prince, and I don't necessarily want him to get covered in fire, if at all p possible to avoid. Um, so, if we go through and walk through with Losa first... It makes things slightly safer, if nothing else. There's a pedestal here. So that opened the ice door. Presumably we if we do that and then it opens the fire door. Uh, the lightning door rather. Cool. It seems to be pretty easy thus far. I have lightning immunity. So that's relatively easy to get through here. Does anything seem different now? Yes, yes it does. Also, much nicer weather here now. The sun came out. Um, I guess the Red Prince probably wants to go in first, because story. Although, didn't seem to make too much of a difference. Uh, so we now have a portal which has taken us Somewhere. Hmm. It's what's throwing me off here is this little part on the map here, which is right here. I don't really know what's over here. It just seems weird that they'd have this little part on the map accessible. I don't know. It's weird. I think it's just to make the it seem like a more natural formation, which it does here, but on the map, because the wall isn't highlighted, it it clearly looks like an alcove where you would hide something. Um, that's my own fault for just assuming stuff like that. I would say that's pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. Um, let's jump over here. Engraved jewel. Cool. The pyramids make this a lot faster, <laughs> as you might imagine. Being able to uh, instantly teleport places makes things a little quicker. More of those damn oh, Knight of Armadia is still alive. Well, I mean, I can make it through here once again relatively easily. I have enough magic armor that I'm not really scared of this. Let's just do that. Now go through the shit. I can just kind of walk around the damage at this point, which is kind of useful. And we undo this one. Cool. Our defenses are breached. Must I kill you now? It would pain me. Note that it would probably pain me too. You are not of the Black Ring. I am relieved. I greet. I am, I was, 
Amadia's chosen champion. She gasps and bows her head in deference. Forgive me. Hmm. Please, I hold this boon. It is Amadia's. It should be yours. Sure. A pair of gloves, beaten and worn, but clearly of the highest value, especially to a wizard. Interesting. Um, does she serve Amadia? I came to the council to learn to be divine. I failed. I'm not made to be pursued by evil. And that's what it means to be Godwoken. Afterwards, I roamed the island, as did all we fallen knights. Interesting there when she gives you the gloves. I'm not sure if she's noticed where to Godwoken or whether she noticed where I've got the air immunity from Amadia. Could be either. But my worst fears came true when the Black Ring came. I fled here. I made sure the temple was defended and went to the altar. I prayed to Amadia for help, but she did not answer. I'm not ashamed to say that I hid. There is untold evil in the world, and it has reached the island. It seeks the Godwoken who would be divine. I cannot bear it. Well, you go now. Go? There is no go. Mm. I belong here. Fair enough. I was Godwoken, but for all the evil in the world, I would not be divine. I did not search the world for the others of our kind. My place is here. Yours is inside the mountain. So she does notice a web Godwoken, clearly. Speaking of which, tell her you seek Amadia's altar. Amadia's altar is at the highest point. Climb to the sky and you may find it. But be warned, Amadia rarely answers now. And when she does, she sounds unwell. Hmm. May she speak to you with love. She bows her head in deference and allows you to leave. You sell anything? You really do not. You have a stick and four gold. Which, to be fair, makes a lot of sense, considering that she's, like, just some woman who's been stuck at an altar this entire time. Um, this is our way back. We're not going to go there yet. We're going to go up here. I, that's the altar. There indeed is the altar. Um, but we're going to come up this way. Oh. I couldn't go on it because she was on it, so it said couldn't reach. Yes, but as I was saying, it makes sense that she has no money because, you know, she's a pilgrim at an altar. In the background as you approach the altar, laying your hand on the weather-beaten stone, you feel a gentle heat. A sense of warmth and peace fills you. Drop your name often a prayer to the goddess. As you whisper your words, you feel the world around you melt away. You open your eyes to an old log house, a roaring fire, and a door ajar. Pushing the door open, you find a bedroom, comfortably furnished. In the middle of a bed, wrapped in blankets, is an old, shivering woman. Mm. It is so good of you to come. I'm so proud of what you have accomplished, of the hero you are becoming. You will be at the well soon, but first I must ask you for help. She leans forward, grey hair falling to frame her wrinkled face, and whispers. I am so, so hungry. I need to feed. I need your sauce. Interesting here. Amadia is the only one who asks. The others demand, or they bargain, or they... They try and trick you into giving sauce or power or strength. Amadia just straight asks, You need to go to the well, but I need sauce. The woman takes you in her arms. Pulling you close in a warm, soft embrace, you almost can't help relaxing as her warmth spreads through you. You're still breathing in her scent, the smell of home. When you feel her claws, they press into your back, tearing cloth, breaking skin, pushing deep into muscle. A gasp escapes your lips, and you sense it, her ferocious hunger as she starts to feed. You feel your source draining away, your energy sapping, your own hunger becoming unbearable. You push her away, staggering backwards, until you rest gasping against the door. The figure in the bed draws the curtains and smiles as she is bathed in moonlight. She turns back to you, her grey hair now streaked with gold. She gets out of the bed, walking towards you, but you feel your god pulling you back, pulling you away from her claws. The room fades, but Amadi's moon remains, now emblazoned on the altar before you. I believe, 
and I could be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure even if you refuse Amadia, she still gives you the the correct symbol. Um, and I'm tempted to check that, but I honestly can't be bothered. Um, it's just kind of a pain to go back and try and check it. But it is interesting that Amadia is the only one that will um, freely give you that kind of information. All the other gods try and swindle you in some way, but Amadia will just give it to you. And she, she does want your source, because she's dying without it. But she literally just asks. Before you stands a shrine Examine the statue, statue, reach out and place a gem into the hollow between Amadia's eyes. With the grating sound of there we go. Stone upon stone, the statue of Amadia moves to one side, revealing a secret room. Um, I skipped through that first part of dialogue. Apologies for that, but it's dialogue we've already seen before. We have some Drudene. Some Earth Tongue. Some Augmenta. And some Fahrenheit. This is an interesting place. It seems kind of like, um... Either Amadia's office, or the office of the Servant. It's hard to tell which. But, we get... Wow. I think that's the first time I've seen Deep Freeze. I don't think either of my characters know it. No, they don't. Uh, characters in the cone that are frozen and below 10% vitality shatter and instantly die. Otherwise, they receive 531 to 585 water damage and become frozen. Um, cool. It's essentially Cone of Cold from D&D. Um, I think we go Red Prince with this. Then again, what are her water spells like? I mean, eventually I will need more memory. But as of yet, I can't really use it, so... I think wits are more useful for me at the moment. Um, within the coming levels, I'm probably going to need some more memory, but... For now, it's fine. Um, and then... You know what? I'll organise all this off-screen. In fact, I've probably already cut a lot of it out of the episode. So... Um, Assuming I did cut it all out, I've done some working around here. We have Pyroclastic Explosion here because damage. Um, everything else is mostly the same. As for the Red Prince, we have now have a second bar. Um, this is his damage bar, and then going on to his second bar is going to be his buff bar, which I will sort out between episodes. But that's going to be it for this episode. So, if you liked the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye, guys.